Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and it's time to make a little more room. Liquidate another car. Not that car. This, of course, is the Luigi. Well, one of the Luigis. This Luigi and that Luigi. You can see they've got the blue and green. This is really over-the-top Luigi with the superchargers, and I think I put... Yes, the uh, the wheelie bars, and I wish you could have really big drag slicks on this, but it is what it is. It does have the side pipes going to Luigi. This is, of course, the Mario. I have to get the proper plates for them. You know, I have to get one to say, get them to say Mario and Luigi. It's two hundred grand to do that, and it's a bit a bit of work. But I think we can do it. I think we can we can work that out at some point. But this is, of course, the Mario, which. I've had no luck with because I mostly do stunt raises and they tend to spin out in tubes. Librioso. Uh, this Mario, hey yo Mario, this is of course a Shafter V12. I think it's a V12, right? It is a V12. Yeah, it's my Shafter V12. So if I'm ever in a sedan race, not that those happen anymore, I will have the top gun. Over here we have the General Grant, as I like to call it. When I was first watching the Dukes of Hazard, I felt a bit conflicted because, you know, I was a Yankee and they were Southerners, so I didn't think I could really picture myself in the General League. Whereas over time, you watch it for a few years, it's really not about that. So, I mean, I, I was, I'm was more than comfortable in the General League nowadays. You know, it's even though people are assigning other other symbols to the actual general league than I associate with it. I, mean, it's, I, I don't see any of that. But, those, but at the time, I thought, well, gee, if you were going to have a Yankee version of the general league, what would you have? And this would have said General Grant on the side. And that was exactly the color. Hey, hey, it's a little bit late at night, so I had a yawn. I was trying to stifle. I couldn't get out there. But this is the General Grant. I'm going to probably keep this one. I may eventually throw a blower on it, but this is how I imagined it as a kid. You know, I did put the Ugook symbol on it. I want to get a proper base symbol going. I may someday actually pay the fee to get whatever website will let you upload graphics and do something funky with that. There's, it's, it's tricky to get an actual graphic on there. But there's there's power to the Ugook anyway. Come back, there's, there's a story to that, and I've told you that before. Then you have my blister, which is here in dew yellow. I've won many races with this because usually when people think they're briosos into you know the stunt race, like I think it's is it splits. I think it's splits. They all spin out. I just pull away with my better top speed in the blister. Although the blister kanjo has now supplanted this, and still one of my there's a lot got a lot of history with this car, so I have a lot of affection with this car. We zip over here and we've got my bullet. I love the bullet. I feel like it's terrible that they didn't give the bullet enough love when they made the bullet because it should be faster. As it is, it is the slowest. Is it the slowest of the supercars or is that the Baltic? I forget which, but it's, it's quite slow. It's not fast. But it looks cute and I like it, especially in this color scheme. This is, of course, my homage to Death Red 2. This is the car that Bruffy grabbed off the road that allowed him to win Death Fred 2. And you actually, very early on, it he gets the uh, the license plate smashed, so you never get the license plate on. So I could, and I do imagine that somehow I recovered that car, had it fixed up, and then brought it home. So I have in my own mind the Death Fred Charger. That's just a thing that I do. This is one of my oldest cars, one of my first cars, which I thought was the fastest coupe because it was the most expensive, even though we all know that's the Zion now. The Sentinel is still very nice. It's nice to drive. It's nice to look at. You drive this car, you feel like you're doing well. It's something that I'm really fond of. Then we come to the Prairie. The Prairie is a cool car. It's got a lot of modifications. It's something loved by Ruffy1322. He goes on about his prairies. And he's had a lot of... He has history with the car where there were certain wild things that went on. 
on his streams in prairies. They race prairies sometimes. They used to. I don't think they do really anymore. He's all into the random alls and stuff like that. But I bought... I, I don't even think I bought this car. I think I grabbed it. There might have been something that happened in a video that was significant to why I kept this prairie and then dutied it all up in the same kind of lime and yellow of the other car. But I just... Did the thing do yellow? But I just don't ever drive it. If I'm going to drive a compact... Compact. If I'm not driving the bliss, I'm driving the bliss to Kanjo. I have a Brioso, even though, like, I, I have to, I have to give the Brioso a little more love at some point, um, because it's supposed to be better than what my experience is with it. But my experiences with this are painful. So I hate to say it, but I think if we're gonna try and get at least one space in every garage. This baby, oh, with the match stitching and all, well, it's got to go. And the really nice thing about it is, let's say I get rid of this car, and I suddenly decided this was a huge mistake. It's not that hard to get it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, if there's certain rare cars, you know, I think I've let, you know, enough time pass here. But there are certain cars that if you try to get them back, they'd be either wildly expensive or impossible to get. Or you'd have to steal them a certain way. Or This one, your Prairie, Prairie that does have 42 in the license plate. But even given that, even given the 42 in the license plate, and the whole Douglas Adams kind of thing going on there, I just think it's time. I think it's time to make way for other cars. Other cars that I'm going to enjoy more than this. And I'm getting 66. That seems to be like, when you have a cheap car, that's as much as you're getting from all the upgrades. <sighs> no, I'm not sure. But I am going to do it anyway. There it is. The deed is done. And the deeds are not done, because there's probably still room to be made. But not today. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.